Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. This is part of my uh, GE alarm system. It's a sensor, a motion sensor, and it's giving me a, a battery, low battery message on my uh, center. So I took it apart and not only are the batteries low, but they've also leaked and, and caused uh, a problem. I, I think I got that on camera there. You see that bluish stuff? Uh, that's when a battery goes bad. Uh, and uh, they were Kirkland batteries, which are usually pretty good. And you guys and gals probably know all the battery manufacturers say, oh, if we cause any damage because our battery leak, you can send it back to us and blah, blah, blah. Well, nobody ever does that because they put a whole bunch of roadblocks in your way and ask for an original receipt and all that baloney so that never really works but long story short I'm gonna show you how to clean this up I could shove batteries back in there new batteries and they'd probably be okay uh, but I'm gonna clean most of the blue out of there and I don't think I have to take it apart any more than this I could but I'm not going to um, also to get it apart this far there's a guy with a my alarm center my alarm system or my alarm center on youtube that does a real good job on how to take these apart so i i, I would suggest you go to his uh, video and look at that but his was not corroded like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i got a toothbrush i'm going to brush it as much as i can and get as much as i can off i'm going to spray it and brush it some more what I'm not going to do is use any sandpaper or steel wool because I think that'll just aggravate the problem even more. Now let me make sure I'm still in frame here. It should be all right. So regular old toothbrush. If I had one that was a little bit stiffer, I'd probably use it, but I don't. So I'm just doing that and it is some is coming off so yeah all right let me do the other one if I had a soft really soft like a brass brush I might try that hold on let me see what I've got well I tried a couple of other brushes this one is a brass brush and this one is a stiffer plastic but neither of them really worked any better so I don't want to damage these contacts that's the whole point so I'm gonna leave it alone I'm going to spray this. I'm going to hold it so that if there's any drips, they drip out. Spray it and clean it. Well, it's getting a little bit better. I'm not going to get it 100% per, 100% clean unless I took the whole thing apart and I don't think it's necessary because when the new batteries go in there I think this corrosion or whatever you call it when these batteries do this I, I don't think it'll start right up if it does what will happen is it will drain these new batteries really fast and I'll know that because the alarm will come out come on and say low battery um, so that's about it maybe I'll see if I can find one more thing to stick in there what I did find was a, a q-tip so I sprayed the cleaner onto the end of the q-tip and I got in there with that 
then I broke the end off and I just used this stock part of the Q-tip. I got that one pretty clean. This other one I'm still working on. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. That's how I clean this corrosion. If it doesn't work, I'll post a, a comment on the video, but I'm pretty sure it is going to work. Um, and then if it goes if it goes bad on me real quick, I will also post that in the comment. Well, that just wants to stay there. Okay, so give me a thumbs up or a like if this helps you out. This is electronic cleaner, pretty good. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you want more from Froggy. See you later, guys and gals. Froggy out. Bye-bye. Whoops. Sorry for the bump. Now yeah, let's just press the status button. System OK. And it looks like we're good to go. So like I said, if these batteries drain down really fast because of that little bit of corrosion that I had left in there, I'll put a comment there and then I will have to take the thing apart further and, and really clean it 100%. Okay? See you guys and gals. Froggy out. Bye.